Our topic for today is interview questions and answer for apprenticeship program of International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers. In order to be accepted into the apprenticeship program, you have to fill out an application. Then once it is reviewed, you will be scheduled for aptitude test for mathematics basic algebra. Just visit my channel. Also, I have a reviewer. And the other topic is reading comprehension. If you have passed the aptitude test, you will be scheduled for interview. And if you pass the interview, you will receive a packet mail and instructions and tools needed for the job. The process takes a few months from application to acceptance. Note, please be aware that the selections are not always immediately following the interview. Now let's proceed to our topic, interview question and answer. Question number one. Describe or explain a time when someone got hurt. What did you do? Sample answer. We are working on a ceiling to install some lights in one of our company projects. And accidentally, one of our co-workers got electrical shock and fell down the floor and broke his right leg. I quickly got the first aid kit and called 911 and our managers for assistance. Do you have a co-worker that always annoyed you? How do you handle it? Sample answer. Personally, if I have a co-worker that continually annoyed me, I will find some common ground or interest for us to work with. And you should stay out of arguments that would cause a negative impact on your job. And if you cannot handle the situations, address the issue to your supervisor or manager. Why do you want to join International Brotherhood of Electrical Worker Union? Sample answer, in order to have a better training and apprenticeship program. And aside from that, joining Electrical Union, you will receive a compensation that you deserve for your work you do, but also adequate health benefits to cover you and your family. What are you measuring when testing a fuse? Sample answer. If you can remove a fuse from the circuit, you are measuring resistance, and it is the easiest way to determine if the fuse is blown by continuity testing. Another way to test a fuse is by measuring the voltage across it with a digital multimeter. This is helpful if the fuse is not able to be easily removed from the circuit. Question number two. What is Ohm's law? Ohm's law is the formula to calculate the relationship between voltage, current, and resistance in a circuit. And the formula is V equals I times R, I equals V over R, and R equals V over I. If you want to know the voltage, X out the V in the pyramid and multiply current and resistance. See the first pyramid above. What are the types of electrical systems have you worked on the first? I have worked on residential services that use a center tap neutral, various 120 volts lighting and various plug loads, 240 volt single phase loads for water heater and electric rains and air conditioner. And for commercial electrical system, three phase 277 and 480 volts and its vac loads, 120 volt single phase lighting and convenience outlet or plug. Sample answer number two. I have worked on industrial three-phase electrical services like three-phase motor loads and also utility power. Note, industrial and manufacturing plants have three-phase motor loads and 120-volt single-phase lighting and convenience outlet or plug. What does PPE stands for? And can you give me an example? Answer. PPE stands for Personal Protective Equipment. It's protective clothing, helmets, goggles, and other equipments designed to protect human body from injury or infection. What would you do if you saw an employee violating a safety rule? Sample answer number one. When you see a coworker breaking safety procedure or otherwise acting unsafely, talk to the person in private, approach your coworker with guidance, and understanding that he or she maintains a safe working practice. Number two, notify your supervisor. If your coworker refuses to listen you and still doing unsafe practices, 
talk with your supervisor, share the details such as offender dates, times, and incidents. Why are you interested in this job? Sample answer. I am interested in this job because I am looking for an opportunity that let me exercise my skill. I feel this position will allow me to succeed because my experience is related to the job. Can you tell me something about your previous or something about your experience? I developed extensive skills with the electrical system for the last five years, and I am excellent with commercial and residential installations and repairs, and also knowledgeable in analyzing and solving various electrical problems. Why are you leaving your current or previous job? Sample answer number one. My current job has been a great experience, but the growth is limited because the company is relatively small. I need to look somewhere like this company where there is opportunity to grow my career. Sample answer number two. I'm ready for the next challenge in my career. I love the people I work with and the projects that I work on, but at some point I'm looking for a company where opportunity to grow my career. What is your preferred method of diagnosing problem? Sample answer. The way I approach first, I will ask the homeowner if it is a house, but if it is a plant, I will ask the operator and get some information, and this will lead you to the problem. Try to look first the simple problem, like circuit breaker trip, stop is press, rather than removing the electric motor immediately. Have you ever had conflict with your superior or colleagues and how do you handle it? Sample answer. I think everyone at some point had a conflict with their superior or colleagues. I'll just try to work with them whenever possible and stay away with conflict as much as I could. What is your strength and weakness? Sample answer for what is your strength? I am a hardworking and responsible person and do my duties on time. Sample answer for what is your weakness? I do not stop working until the job is done. I should know my limitation. How important are safety regulations and following safety guidelines to you while on the job? Sample answer. Safety and customer satisfaction is my priority. I try to follow the guidelines of the company policy and review them. Additionally, I always make sure to conduct myself in a safe manner while performing my electrical installation and repair duty, either in a home or a plant facilities. Do you have any question for us? Sample answer. Always say yes if these questions will be asked. Sample answers. What are the most immediate projects that need to be addressed? What is the next process after the interview? Now, let's proceed to technical questions. Can you draw a schematic diagram of a three-way switch? Here's a sample of three-way switch for your reference. Technical questions. These jobs require you to bend, crawl, left heavy loads, entering confined space, noisy environment, do you have any problem with that? Usually the answer is no. If yes, you need to explain based on your medical and personal condition. Will you be available to work overtime, shift chains, swing shift, or grave shift? How do you change the directions of the motor? Answer, in a three-phase induction motor, reversing any two of the three wires will change the rotations of direction. Do you familiar with any electrical tools? Name a few more electrical tools and how to use it. Self-explanatory. Another question. 
Do you know how to bend AMT or electrical metallic tubing? Can you pull a cable? Do you afraid of height? These are the typical questions and the answer is self-explanatory. What is PIT? Answer, powered industrial track. Do you know how to operate them? Bomb lift, scissor lift, forklift. What is means by table 310.15B16? Answer, allowable ampacities for insulated conductors, provided columns for copper and aluminum conductors. Say table. But first, we're going to discuss the interview tips that will help you get hired. Make a job interview feel less much stressful with preparations. The more time you take in advance to get ready, the more comfortable you feel during the actual interview. Interview tips number one. Practice and repeat. What's my video? Number two. Get ready ahead of time. Try to be calm and control your emotion and drink water first before you start. You need to research the company and look at their website. Be on time means early, at least 30 minutes before the interview. Keep your answer concise and focused. Do not speak negatively about your previous employers. Bring a copy of your resume, a notebook, and pen. Be prepared with a list of examples of your previous job. Follow up after the interview 